Hello and welcome to Data Research Labs. For today's Excel Quick Trainer, we are going to discuss Find and Replace in Excel. This is video number eight of a planned set of training videos. The target audience is students and the objective is to get you up to speed quickly on using Excel. First, how to find text. When you have a very large spreadsheet, sometimes you want to find text in a cell somewhere in the large document. To find text, you either use the keyboard shortcut, Control plus F, or on the toolbar, you use the home toolbar. I'll show you in a minute the full screen, but you use this find select button here. Right now I have the screen zoomed in so you can't see it all, but I'm gonna go ahead and double click. There we go. So home and this little guy here, that if I hover over it, that's the find and select button. And what I was showing you before is what it looks like on most people's generally bigger screens now. It would look something like that. You'd have an editing section and there's the find and select. Okay, so let's go ahead and use it. I'm gonna hit Control F to bring up the dialog. And I was already playing around with it, so I know that the letters Q, W, E are all over the place in here. So we can type those in and I can hit find next. Notice that the cell changed. I can hit find next again. So that's one way and it's just going through the row left to right, and then drops down to the next row. And so I can find next one at a time, or I can hit find all, and drag this down, and I can get all 76 instances or cells where that's occurring, and I can scroll and click any one of them. Scroll to the bottom. And it's kind of nice this way at the find all that just shows you the cell, the actual value that has QWE in it, the workbook, and if there was a formula, so it shows you everything. So that's Two ways to trigger the find box, control F or this find button here. And then once you search, you can find next one at a time or click find all. Uh, before I demonstrate the options button, let's get rid of all this. I'm just gonna close the dialog, hit control F again, pops it up. Now, I don't, it remembered my last setting. There's a drop down. If I had two or three more selections, it would remember the history down here and I could pick select from search text that I'd used in the past. Anyway, let's look at the options. Let's expand that. I can search right now. The default is within this sheet, but I could say within the entire workbook and then it would search all the sheets. So that's a handy feature. And it also defaults to by rows. And we saw that when I was searching, it was jumping through that by rows, but I could say do it by column. And now instead of jumping to this one, it's gonna go down. So find next, find next, find next. And it just goes down the columns and then wraps up. So depends on which way you wanna search. You can control that. I never use look in the, uh, for, look in formulas, look in values are virtually identical. That's the default. Maybe you'd use look in notes, look in comments. And actually I'll go, Nah, I'm going to demo something else later for that. Uh, so yeah, just ignore this. Match case is handy. Sometimes you only want to find or change where the case, so QWE, it's going to find it. But if I went to lowercase QWE here, there shouldn't be any. Yep, can't find it. But if I uncheck it, I'm searching for lowercase, it will find the uppercase. And match entire cell contents. Right now I'm matching just a part. But if I check this, it's not gonna find any. So sometimes you'll want those two checkboxes. Click the options toggle to make it go away. Next, how to find special. Sometimes you wanna find a cell not based on text, but on something else. So for example, let's go here to our home menu item and our find search. We've looked at find, we're gonna look at replace later, but sometimes you wanna find the next cell that has a formula or that has notes in it, or that has conditional formatting applied, or that has data validation applied. So I'm gonna go ahead and do formulas because there's one in here, and there it is. That cell has this formula. Every other cell is just, oops, every other cell is just a value. If you look up here, as I click through them, just a value. This one was the only one with the formula. So let's try that again. We will find formulas. It jumps there, is there any more? Let's try again. Nope, it stays there, and I know I only put one in. Uh, what if we want to find notes? There's one note. And I never explained notes. Let me scroll over. And 
it's a little red indicator on the cell. If I hover over it, it pops up a note. And if I right click, well, let me just show you how to do a note. Let's just right click here. And this is kind of unrelated, it's a tangent, but I just want to show you. So I can insert a new note. So right click any given cell and do new note. Not new comment, new comments are for uh, multi-user documents shared out on network. And it puts a, a funky looking, anyway, it's like, just don't do it. Do the new note, that's traditional. And you can put in text, blah, 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 hit enter, blah, 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 blah. And I can drag and drop and make the note bigger. I can move the note around if I want to. I wouldn't suggest it, but you can do that if you want. So notes are kind of nice, and when I click off, it goes away. So it has a little note appended to the cell. And now that I have two of them, let's do the search. And notes, oh, it highlights all of them. And I should, it's got the focus here and highlighting that one. So if I find notes again, the focus should drop. And it, well, it didn't. Apparently it's on one screen. Anyway, that's something that you can do as well as find notes. And you could find the next conditional formatting, which we haven't gone over, or the next data validation, or use of content, constants. But anyway, I don't really use those ever, but you could. Let's see, you know, the go to and go to special. In Word, I'll jump, you know, go to line, but I don't know. If I click it, go to what? I have to have variables saved and references saved and nah. And then there's special, that's the other dialogue, and I can, you can do a bunch of stuff, but I'll let you explore that, I'm not gonna go over it. Finally, how to replace text. Replacing text. So sometimes when you have a very large spreadsheet, you wanna replace text in one or more cells and they're all over the document. So replacing text is very similar to finding text. It's the same dialogue, right? You know, the home, edit, find, and then it's the replace button. So I can click that, or I can just hit control H. I don't know why H, but that's real common. And it really is the same dialogue, the find and replace dialogue. Before we were on find, now we just happen to be on replace. And I'm gonna tell it to replace QWE, uppercase, and replace it with, we'll do, ABC, that doesn't exist anywhere. And I could replace one. And so notice where this is, There's the word isn't there, but as soon as I hit replace, it should go to the first one over here and replace it, so let's do that. Can't find a match, you know why. I left the options, no I didn't. Huh. By rows, formula, low. Sheet, it's not on match, hmm, interesting. Well, let's do a find next. Now we'll do a replace, and it worked. And then it'll jump to the next one, we'll do a replace. And usually for me, I just type them in, hit find, look at it, and then I hit replace all. So we're gonna replace all the rest of them. There's like 70 some of them we were looking before. So anyway, let's go ahead and hit replace all. And I wanna point out that the pop-up tells you how many replaced, 74, and I'd already done three or four prior to that. And so yeah, down here it's replaced, replaced, replaced. So very nice, that's way faster than clicking one at a time replace or trying to find them and fix them yourself manually. Now, if that count 74 was off, the first thing I do is go, oh, I made a mistake, I expected only three, but it changed 174. Control Z is your friend. Actually, I have to close this dialog and then Control Z, which is the edit undo. That's the same thing as clicking this button up here. There's your Control Z. So if you ever do a search and replace, you make a mistake, first thing you do is exit the dialog box and Control Z. And I could even do a couple more, control Z, because there's a few that I manually changed. And yep, control Z did that comment, that was too, or the note, that was too far, so control Y, control Y gets rid of those two. So I'm back to where I was. So uh, replacing text, pretty nice. Let me control H, pop it up again. Uh, enter in your find text, enter your replace text. Doesn't have to be the same size, uh, let me, uh, now that I've undone it, let me do A, B, C, D, E, F and do a replace all. 76, and it replaced them all. A, B, C, D, E, F. So it replaced three characters with six characters. Perfectly fine to do that. Um, all of these options here are the same as the find. We've already discussed them. Formatting, I've never used it, but you can apparently set format or choose format. And when you're doing a search and replace, you can also change things to bold or colors or whatever, but I've never used that. I'll leave that for you to experiment with.
Thank you for watching, and please, if you found this video helpful, click like and be sure to subscribe below.